I am recording my voice post record since I've obviously forgot to record this during this Marowak Barbarian video, which is only the racial part, which I figured I did the class. I showed you that last time. Anyways, Ancestral Guardian video, Barbarian, and I'm actually switching between to show you what you have to get right now. Like, for example, I'm putting in the stats we got last time from Toxicity. For example, putting f the 15s in Constitution. Dexterity. And in Strength. Then I'm putting the 14 in, well, let's see where I put it in, in Wisdom, and Intelligence, like, in Charisma and Intelligence. For intelligence, I changed to one. Okay, Christmas is two. Then I'm looking at the basic stats and stuff. For HP. Or, what am I actually looking at? Uh, oh, wait, it's actually the skills I'm looking at. Which I put in nature and survival. Which then I actually am putting in the proficiencies, like the armor proficiencies. Then the weapon proficiencies. Then language proficiencies. Then I'm actually putting in the items we can get, which is his Explorer's Pack, which has multiple items. Creative, if you're curious, you can pause the video or look it up. With an Explorer's Pack on 5v tools, then two hand axes, which it took me some difficulty to even get that right, the number two, and not keep on trying to type. Hand axes. And then one great axe. Which took me surprisingly less difficulty. Then I do the HP. Huh. I wonder why I did that last. I don't know why I typed in 113. Then 100. Then 15. And not just 14. But then I add up a 7 to make 21, and then I add it up to make 28. Basic math. Since we're doing it at level 3. For the, well, um, like I said, for the sub race, not sub race, subclass. Then I'm adding in Rage, one of the features.
Then I added an armor defense. Which is a surprisingly good feature for the well the thing it has. For how it boosts your well defense up quite a bit. Even just one point of AC and not defense but armor class is surprisingly a good amount. When it comes to this game. And then I go for danger sense instead of Survival on St. Chris Danger Sense is the overall better one, in my opinion. Based on the DMs I've had. Well, yeah, the voices in the sky, in my case, which, yes, it's me, Tartel. Not unknown. And then, we go for, um, uh, I'm trying to remember what it was. Reckless Attack. We then go with Reckless Attack. It's a pretty good skill, just can put you in danger since it gives your opponent advantage on you. So yeah, I'm not so sure if I would like that as my own feature, I'm more of an artificer. But it's good for barbarians. And then we go with the primal path. Call the Ancestral Guardian. Or Path of the Ancestral Guardian. Which is surprisingly good for protection and fits Marowak well. At least the Mega Marowak lines we've seen. That all Matthew and comics tell me about. And then we get the one below it, which happens to be eh, Primal Knowledge, which is personally good. Then, I'm just looking over the seat real quick, and then explain to you about everything else. Well, the video. I have a question for you guys, though. So. Who would you like to see next out of the characters I've shown you? Out of the characters you've seen in the beginning that I have? Well, let that see. Oh yeah, I then explained to you that there's rage. That there's technically- that I thought there was two, but no, it's actually three. Which surprised me. Again, out of those guys, which would you like to see? I plan on going in order of alphabetical, but maybe there's one you want to see. And I can also repeat some classes and use different Pokemon and Jinkas for it. Well, it would be interesting, if you ask me at least. So, yeah. 